This is your boy Lantic City, and we're back with the Mac. We got more interrogation of a predator. Now, previously, on interrogation of a predator. And, okay. I asked her if we was. Where do you want my sperm first? Mm. I don't know. Mouth, pussy, or ass? I, I mean, that wasn't in reference of meeting today. Okay. I want, all I want to do, okay, A lot of is, is get on with this interview, but we got to get over this hurdle. I know. Okay? I know. we got to get to the truth. I'm, I'm Why I'm you threw the KY on. jelly in there? Did you come up here? And now, on interrogation of a predator. Expecting to have sex with this girl bite because of her emails back to you. And no, you so saying you want to have sex, and she's like, yeah, sounds cool. <coughs> yeah, sounds cool. John, you're a fucking fool, bro. No, sir, I mean, it was one of those 50-50 things she wanted. 50-50. If we could have had sex, we could not have had sex, and I mean... But you would have had sex if you hit it off with her. If we got along, and I thought it was a meaningful <coughs> relationship, honestly, <coughs> then... Yeah. Honestly. But if we didn't get along, <laughs> no. Because I'm not one of these people that... Well, you asked her to be naked mm. for you to get here. In one of your chats way back when y'all... No, that was... Oh, Dustin, that one got it quiet. He don't know what to say. He does not, he does not know how to proceed. He doesn't know how to respond. You talked about me the first time you said something about naked when you get there or in your panties or something like that. Exactly how you were. I'm trying to think of that one myself, sir. And I'm being honest. I, I mean, oh my god, shut up with that shit. It was a cute. <coughs> okay. I'm just being honest. It was a cute little catchphrase in episode one. But not anymore. It's starting to get fucking sickening. Later on. Yeah. This is a yeah. this is a twelve year old girl. Do you know the drinking age in Kentucky? <coughs> 18. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't it's say. 21. I would. It, but let me yeah, tell you I mean, this. Yeah, I was 21, but okay. I wouldn't. Remember what I told you before about a judge and jury is going to hear this. Oh, no. He goes on and on about just being honest, but then he's asked what the legal age of drinking is, and he proceeds to say 18. You aren't being further from being honest. You're lying about things that you don't even need to be lying about. This All sounds right. to me like you wanted to hurt somebody. Would you be mad if I got you drunk and had sex with you however I wanted and the next day you were in pain? Damn. Now, John's bringing out another tactic. He's got to get deeper. He's got to dig deeper in an effort to... Because he, he is desperately, at this point, desperately trying to <coughs> obtain a <coughs> confession <coughs> from Dustin <coughs> McFedders. <coughs> Yeah. So, D D John is, is desperately trying to gain a confession right now, and he is switching his tactic from left to right, and now he's he's digging in, he, he's already kind of tried this already, but he's, he's, he's giving it another go. It failed him the first time, but maybe it'll work this time. It looks like you want to hurt somebody. His words, not mine. Looks like you want to hurt somebody. So he's he's putting that one back on Dustin in an effort to hopefully get him to start spilling the beans. I want to f you really hard one time. Now, when you were coming yeah. up here, I forgot I even had that conversation. Okay. That's what you want to do. That's what you're telling her you want to do. That okay? was not. If you have a meaningful relationship, were you wanting to? Have a meaningful relationship and make love to this girl, or were you wanting to just do her real hard and treat her bad and beat I, on her? Or I was what? wanting to have a real relationship with her. Yeah. That was that was meant for much later on, and I don't even know why I even come up with that one and said that. You know. But if things would have worked out, she'd have had sex with her tonight. If we got along and stuff, and I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've met people offline before, and I've met people... You spend a lot of time on the computer? 
John's got to get up because yet again he's failed. His training is failing him again. And poor John he is so confused right now. He doesn't know what to do. He's lost. He really is lost right now. He <clears throat> He's never seen anything like Dustin before. He probably hasn't seen anything like him since, but John wants that confession. I'm getting the thumbnail. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, because... Wait, who was sighing like that? Was that John or was that... I have much else to do because, I mean, I've tried to look for a real job. Oh, no. Not a real job. As opposed to the fake jobs that people be throwing out there. Wait a minute. I'm so confused. I started right here. What was that? Dude, where the fuck did you get up, John? Damn it, shit. What's their screen names? Do you remember any of them? What's, <clears> their, <throat> what's their screen names? Yeah, and I mean... That's what you want to do. That's what you're telling her you want to do. That okay? was not... If you have a meaningful relationship, were you wanting to have a meaningful relationship and, and make love to this girl, or were you wanting to just do her real hard and treat her bad and beat I, on her? Or I was what? wanting to have a real relationship with her. Yeah. That was that was meant for much later on, and I don't even know why I even come up with that one and said that. You know. But if things would have worked out, she'd have had sex with her. Tonight. If we got along and stuff, and I mean, I don't know. All right. I mean, I've met people out offline before, and I've met people. You spend a lot of time on the computer. That was John. Yeah, sigh. because I'm, I'm sorry not. we did all that just to see John sigh, but I had to do it. I sit there and I play games on the computer and on the Xbox. 360 and it's I mean I don't have much else to do because I mean I've tried to look for a real job mm -hmm. and it's impossible to find a job it's going to be real impossible after this but people look so down computers are good thing. so he knows the severity of the situation I'm not going to be able to get a good job, or I'm not going to be able to get a job. It's already hard for me to get a job. It's going to be even harder after this. So, Dustin clearly knows the severity of the situation that he's placed himself into. The pool that he's decided to dive in. Yet, he, he acts as if he doesn't know. What's what's what what the, what kind of shit he's in? I mean, I don't know if he thinks that he's just gonna end up being on the list or something like that. If he's just gonna be a registered sex offender and he doesn't have to go to jail, I don't know if he thinks that's what's gonna happen. But you know, <clears throat> if used correctly, a computer's a good place to meet friends. Yeah, and I mean, other than th this situation, that other one I told you about, I've never done anything like that. What all chat rooms do you visit? I mean, it's, it's only two situations. I mean, other than this one and the other one that I told you about. I mean, I've never done even. I've never even done anything like this. <laughs> uh, the two oh, yeah. ones I listed earlier, are like one, two, three, five, seven, nine. <coughs> I think. How do they look on the internet? Is it Tennessee one or something? Or? Yeah, you just sign sign in. And then a wrestling chat room. Right. Wrestling chat room. Have you ever met anybody in any other chat rooms that you've had sex with? Yes. Any of them underage? No, sir. What, no. What's their screen names? Do you remember any of them? I can try to. XX, Perfect Drug, XX, I think. 
where where did you meet these people at? Which chat rooms? The same ones? This is this has been over years and years, so it's hard to say. And she was talking to me about. She had Shout out to the chatters, man. You remember 2007 chat rooms were booming. I would probably say 2007 was the last good year for chat rooms. That's just me. Because they kind of died after that. MSN died in uh, 2006, I believe it was. But <clears throat> we ventured on until, well, pretty much everyone else got mad at each other. The group of us. And they stopped talking, and then two people would stop coming, and then another three would get mad at this person, and then, well, one person would get mad at one person, and then about two of the, that one person's friends would leave, plus that person, and it just kept happening over and over. No, I was never involved. I mean, again, I was underage, even at this time, so I didn't really fight with people, but a lot of the people, it ended up just being like fucking me and like four other people that ended up coming anymore and it was just like yeah it was kind of cool knowing you but eh, I've never even seen a photo of you who are you you know what I'm saying so it is what it is I'm not crying I haven't cried in a while but I'm saying we, we, we think back to these chat rooms and when you think back to chat rooms these days you think you think about them as these goofy places, these weird places, these odd places. But chat rooms, at one point in time, were a very cool place. Yes, I was an underage chatter. I was Zach. I lied and said I worked at Blockbuster. I didn't. I was Zach. 21. But I was like 14 or 13. No, I was younger than that. Fuck. No, I was 12. I think I was 12 and 13 when I was 12 when I first started chatting, but yeah. 2007 was like the probably the the it wasn't certainly wasn't the peak, but 2007 was the end. I think it was probably the last good year for chat rooms and not even just for me, for everyone, I think, because after that I mean, I'm not saying because of this or anything, because of interrogation, I mean, uh, to catch a predator, but, yeah, just another fucking random ramble that I go on for no fucking reason that has nothing to do, but I'm just trying to get the eyes off Dustin, but that's, Dustin's what you're here to see, you're not here, to, you're not here to hear about my chat experience, but I'm just trying to say that chat rooms aren't these weird mythical places that they've kind of sort of become in recent years. Or in, even in the last decade now. They used to be booming. They used to be dope. And Dustin used to roam these rooms. And people like him. I had moved back to Tennessee and she would like to see <coughs> me again. And I was like, okay. I talked to her some and then she disappeared again. The one, you, Not this one, the one you had sex with. Yeah. And she was... Uh, Say 21? 21. Nobody underage? No, sir. Alright. Um, what's your cell phone number? Aww. Shit. I want his number. Hello. Hey. And if I had the phone in front of me, I could tell you who's who, if I had had anything with them, how old they are. Where do you live at right now? At home with my mama. Hmm. That would just kill my mama. I can't go to jail, officer. I can't survive. It would kill my mama. This is going to kill both of you, he said, pretty much. But you both, you both soldiered on. It was easier on her than it was for him. I'm sure of it. I'm confident. What the fuck? All this silence. What I are mean, you doing like, with that? Did he? Did I John fart? I would rather break the stupid news to her first. Okay, what John up? must have farted. What city is that again? 
I mean, like I said, I don't want to go to jail. I can't live in jail, and I don't want no problems. And mm. Now, when you live there, is that your computer? Is that her computer? He can't go to jail. He can't survive in jail. He don't want no problems. Well, Justin, Atlantic City is from the future. And he's here to tell you that not only did you go to jail, but you survived in jail. And trouble is exactly what you got. She bought it, but I use it. Where's it at? In the house. And I guess it's my living area. Your living area? Yeah, I mean, I've got a bedroom. I've got two bedrooms. One, one's got my bed in it, and then the other one's computer desk. And, and that's your area? Yeah, our computer desk. Does she table. use the computer? She has a few times. She's used it a few. She had her own and it tore up. She uses that occasionally. Hashtag save mama's computer. And stuff. So it's you, you and your mom just live together? Her third husband. He her third there. husband. Does he use your computer? What the fuck? Earlier he said second husband. Now he's saying third husband. What the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, I don't know if he was really referring to the second husband and then there's actually a third husband. Or if he just forgot his own lie. <clears throat> he's used it a couple times to look at x-rays and he's used hers a couple times. But x-rays? <clears throat> he's got a bad back and neck. Oh, okay. And he's not very computer literate. And mm -hmm. What kind of computer is it? Just uh, when I custom ordered. Oh, you custom ordered it? Yeah. I ordered the parts and I had a friend to help me build it. Oh, really? I can do I can do parts of it, but I can't do a few things with it. because. So you're pretty hand. computer savvy, though. Somewhat. depends on the subject. I mean... Up I, until two years ago, I didn't know there was a caps lock button. <laughs> Didn't know what that meant, so I didn't touch it. But you can build one. I, I wonder if John, I think John's being serious. I don't think John would, would just think up something like that. But that's funny. I like John. John is probably my favorite um, interrogator of all time. So on this series, Interrogation of a Predator, I'm going to try my hardest to make sure every season has John. So, with a little help, you know what I mean? It's just buying the parts and yeah. stuff on the side. And what about a, a webcam? You got one of them? Good question. No, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, some kind of cheap digital camera that they had on TV. I plugged it up once to see what it was about a webcam. And I don't even know where the thing is. It's either in the closet or buried in the computer desk one. Do you have any pornography on your computer? Yes, sir. Anything of anybody underage? I don't think so. You don't think so? How could you not know? <laughs> Did you ever see any underage? On now, we already know. And I'm about to bring it up again. That DMAT, the out-of-pocket pimp, has over a hundred videos and or photos of child pornography on his computer, on his possession, in his possession, in his room, on CDs, possibly DVDs. And he's going to sit here and lie to John and we just have to watch it. We just have to watch him take it as he desperately tries to get a confession out of Dustin McFedrich's defed. I mean, wait. Yeah, defed. That works. You, on your computer? Or view any images? I've viewed <clears throat> images before, of under, I think. Of underage people? Not meaning to, and I don't know what I was saved on it. What do you mean, not meaning to? How can you not mean to? I mean, you go on, on the internet and look at porno, and you don't know if they're of age or not. Mm -hmm. Some are. Uh -huh. Well, remember, 
I just told you, I just found a caps lock button a couple years ago, so I'm not real computer savvy. So explain to me how you get porn on the internet. I understand you can punch in porn, but what I'm talking about is underage people. Do you do you exchange porn with other people? No, sir. Okay, how do you? I have, it? I've well, I will change that story a small bit. I have a female friend that has sent me a couple. That 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 story. I will I will change that that story a little bit. You're not supposed to be telling a story, Dustin. There, I go talking to him as if he can hear me again. I hope he watches this one day. I hope he loves it. I hope he likes it. I hope he dislikes it. I hope he comments. I hope he shares. I hope he downloads. Well, there's not much else he can do with it. Um, That story, though, uh, this whole time he's been lying, and, and that one line... That one line, I'm going to change that story a little bit. <clears throat> and as many slips as Dustin has had, and I'm sure John has noticed how many slips Dustin has had, how many stupid things Dustin has said throughout, so far throughout this. And here he goes saying, I'm going to change that story a little bit. Now that's got to, that's got to really spank John Red, okay? It's got to really spank John Red. You know, it's got to really rub John raw. When Dustin says story, that just... Because this whole time, Dustin's just been feeding John bullshit. Or, and maybe not complete bullshit every time, but he feeds him bullshit, a lot of bullshit. But then, whenever John really beefs up and gets ready and he comes up to the plate and he's ready to swing... he. And gets the ask the questions that that can lead to some good answers, and he dances around it. If if it did and fifty fifty, if it did if it didn't, I don't know if it was. We'll see. I don't know. It might be. And and to have Dustin sit here, and he's already Dustin's already fucking taunting this poor man. This poor man just trying to do his job and get the fuck out of there. And remember, it's it's eleven o'clock at night. Okay. On it, it, the, the time that this is taking place is 11 o'clock at night. Dustin's tired. But John, John's probably been working all day. John, I don't know. John might have the night shift. John might be there for another fucking seven hours. <laughs> I don't know. But, John probably picked up on that little slip of Dustin's where he said story, and that's probably going to infuriate him. I'm hoping it does, but if he, if it doesn't show, if he's not visibly angry, I can guarantee you that he is screaming on the inside. Let's get back to it. Let's see what happens. Fo female photos. Of a couple photos. A couple of her friends on a Adult Friend Finder or something like that. Mm. So, so the porno that you're looking at is off of websites. Yeah, Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, and off of Emul X, and I mean... Off of what? A download program. Download program? What yeah. did you call it just now? Emul X. Emul X? It's Emul, but you don't have to share stuff to send. So that could be just other people sending you stuff? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you save porn on your computer? Yes. Yes. Videos or, <coughs> or just pictures or, or both? Or both, and I'm, I need to delete it. I'm oh, man. Here it comes. You know, I was debating. In order to stretch this to six episodes or seven episodes, I'm pretty sure it's going to be six. Wait, it's going to have to be seven. No, I guess not. No, six across six episodes. I was gonna stop to stretch this. I was gonna stop here because the last two I've been doing it is uh, fifteen minutes each, and this one I was just gonna do ten. But considering we're coming up on this, I don't want to pause it. I want to keep going right now. So we're gonna go another five minutes. Dustin is about to really step in some shit right here. <sighs> 
This is one fucking guy here. I meant to. Do you burn uh, any CDs or anything? <clears throat> in it? I think they have been burnt CDs of it, and I don't know exactly where they are. I don't know if they're on the desk, if I throw them away or what. I can't. And, I mean, I'm getting rid of it as soon as I go home because I don't want trouble, and I. Don't. I don't know what to say. <sighs> this. I am really at a loss for words right now. I mean, I knew what it, well, I knew what was going to happen, and I knew, but I didn't know what I was going to say. I still don't. How could you think? How, there I go saying it like I'm talking to him again. I'm, I, I really apologize for that, but it doesn't stop. I try and I try and I try, but it just pops up every time. Um, Dustin, why Why would he do this? Why would he just tell that to, to John? John Dudensky. So, so nonchalantly. Like, oh, I was going to go home. I got as soon as I get home, I'm going to throw it away. I'm just being honest. I'm gonna throw it all away. I mean, uh, let's just move on. I I have nothing of any sort of importance to say here. I mean, I I help my buddy do DVDs. Mm. And I'd like to meet that wrestling buddy. <clears throat> I bet he's a nice guy. I mean, I. Did y'all ever burn any porn DVDs? I bet they were no longer friends after this happened. Or maybe the wrestling buddy wrote uh, D-Mac while he was in jail. Let's hope that's what happened. Uh, D-Mac needed a friend in that situation. He probably didn't make many in jail. No, he he, he does wrestling DVDs of himself okay. That over the years. And I've edited the matches down. Right. So he can sell them and stuff. Because okay. they're, they're his matches. I mean, I can't lose the computer because I can't help him if I lose the computer. Mm. And I help him with his website. And, I mean, so, I'm yeah. being honest with you, sir. And I mean, like... I mean, I don't know how Dustin thinks <clears throat> that him and his little wrestling buddy, because he helps his wrestling buddy out with a fucking website, that that's supposed to fucking help like 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 that's gonna that's gonna be the thing like out of all this shit you're here to fuck a kid you came to do what you came to do and you know what he came to do and you're gonna I, you're gonna think that saying you can't lose your computer is gonna be enough to get them to this is just ridiculous. This guy, I just don't. I, I need to just quit talking, but I feel like sometimes I don't talk enough, so I keep interrupting. As soon as I get out of here, I'll go home and delete any porno off the web, off the computer. There you go. Yeah, he thinks he could. He thinks he's going home. First of all, he thinks he's gonna get to go home. He's not going home. It's not happening. But. He thinks that he's going to be able to just go home and delete this shit, like... <sighs> go through every DVD I have, CD, whatever. I'll say DVD and CD, and it's the same thing to me. No, it ain't. It's the basics. Well, pornography in itself, looking at porno, isn't necessarily legal. What I'm interested in is if you have pornography of underage people. Damn it, John! <clears throat> John's a fucking pro. He's kept his composure this whole time. 50 minutes in, John has kept his composure. But you have kept your composure even further if you've watched all four of these. Because you've went way longer than 50 minutes. And you have better composure than John. Because you, as a viewer, have to put up with me and D-Mac. That's gotta be a bitch. 
told me not that you know of. Um, but uh, like I'm saying, I, I meant to say by John the Pro, um, <clears throat> John because D Mac kept dancing kind of and, and just like he always does, he, he feeds some nonsense, and he doesn't and he doesn't even think properly when he talks. Dustin, that is, uh, John is very calculated. He's very strategic in how he moves, how he talks, how he breathes. Dustin here, I mean, John, my, no, Dustin, kept giving vague shit, saying, yeah, as soon as I get home, I'm going to get rid of the porn, I'm going to get rid of all the porn on the DVDs and the CDs, I mean, it's the same to me, it's the basics, but John is not getting, no, no, John is getting, um, and a, a red flag from this because now if you had regular porn you wouldn't be talking about running home and rushing home and as soon as you get home you're going to delete everything because that's not against the law just as John said so now John is going to try in another desperate attempt to get Dustin to admit something but it probably won't be at this point um, he wants to get Dustin to admit that it is child porn on his computer and we already know that the child porn is there. We got to bring that up again because this guy had over a hundred images and/or CDs of child porn. Okay, this guy is a true predator, a real one. Yes, no doubt about it. Let's see if he'll own up to it right now. What is the likelihood that we're going to find something that's somebody underage? There's probably a few photos and a photos. Few videos. Of underage people. Yeah, but like I said, I ain't went through. You downloaded them. Yeah, did but did you I, save them? But I have not went through all of them. But did you Anything. save them? Yeah, they're on the hard drive, and I mean, there was a. At one point, it was saving things in different folders, and I had not went through everything to see what it is. Right. That's what I'm saying. Did you? Uh, What's the likelihood that you burned any of these to disc where there's underage people? I don't think I, I had because of ones. You don't think? I'm asking you what no. the likelihood is. Do you remember ever burning any? Do I already have a thumbnail for this one? I think I do. The only ones that I've burnt to DVD, I had viewed, and there is no children in them. Did you ever share any pornography with underage people? No. Okay. Uh, no. No. Like that's where he draws the line. That's where the draw. That's where the fucking line is drawn with D Mac. He will watch child porn. Hold on. Let's 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 bring it back right quick. Once you get it yours, yeah, you got to find it yourself. Once you get it yours, once you get it yours. Pornography in itself. Photos and a few videos that I had downloaded. Of underage people. Yeah, but like I said, I ain't went through. You downloaded them? Yeah, did but Did you I, save them? But I have not went through all of them. But did you Anything. save them? Yeah, they're on the hard drive, and I mean, there's a... So, I mean, he thinks that saying he didn't go through all of them is supposed to make it okay. Like, yeah, I downloaded a hundred. Yeah, like, I have over a hundred forms of child porn in my possession, but I've only seen, like, 62 of them. That's it. I mean, I haven't seen the other ones. I mean, I've only saw, like, 62. At one point, it was saving things in different folders. Mm. And I had not went through everything. I wonder if one of them went in Mama's profile. I mean, folder. And to see what it is. That's what I'm saying. Did you, uh, what's the likelihood that you burned any of these <clears throat> to disc where there's underage people? I don't think I, I had because of ones. You don't think? I'm asking you what no. the likelihood is. Do you remember ever burning any? The only ones that I've burnt to DVD, I had viewed and there was no children in them. Did you ever share any? 
pornography with underage people. No. Okay. okay. He sent a picture of a dick earlier. He we, he had already admitted that he sent a picture of the dick to the decoy. So that is pretty much sending pornography to a minor. But, I mean, again, it brings me to what I was going to say earlier until I rewinded it too far back and I didn't want to fuck it up even further and spend another longer time than it would have took for that shit to play for me looking around to try to find the spot that I was fucking at. So... Like I was trying to say before, he thinks that, so that that's where Dustin draws the line right there. Is oh he'll he'll talk to an a underage girl, he'll he'll jack off to fucking porn from an underage person, he'll collect porn, he'll burn it to CDs, he'll watch it, but he won't send it to an underage girl. He won't send pornography to an underage person. That's where he draws the fucking line. And what the fuck kind of logic is that? What kind of fucking moral compass is that, Dmac? I don't share porno. Period. Once you get it yours, yeah, you got to find it yourself. <coughs> and I mean, basically telling John, look, if you if you want to know where the good porn sites are, you're gonna have to use Google, man. You're, I'm already in deep enough shit. Because I don't know who <coughs> who would be on the other end. So your mom and I guess your stepdad and you you live in this house. Is there anybody else that lives there? Mm. No children. Good question, John. At one point, her niece was staying with us, and I wouldn't... Your mom's niece. Yeah, and I would never think of doing anything. And How old was she? You're asking a hard question, because I can't even remember my birthday sometimes. Six to eight. And that brings me to another point. Well, not really a point, like I was been waiting to say it or anything, but... Earlier, in the very beginning... Of, I think the second episode, he said that he has a good memory. And then John even said, after he said something, after after some silence, that we don't know what was actually said, John had started back with the noise, with, with audio, and he said, you wow, you have a good memory. And now, all of a sudden, well, not all of a sudden, but in the last two, three episodes of this shit, Dustin has claimed to have a false mem- a bad memory. I I don't fucking get this guy. This guy is fucking off the charts. A bad liar. Man, I mean <clears throat> You I mean, never did nothing with her? God no. What's her name? I don't know her last name. And, Who's your internet provider? It's changed AOL. The years and, uh, if they don't change it, it's going to be... Okay, we only have one minute left. Earthlink, because they had messed up my, inter- my credit card bill. <laughs> When's the last time you get on your computer to uh, receive pornography? To receive pornography? Been a while. Been a while? Been a long time. When's the last time you chatted with a girl other than the girl that you got picked up for tonight? In what manner? Talking about sex or anything. Uh, I was aggravating a... <laughs> late 20 year old Last night or the night before, aggravating her about sex. Uh, I think I, she was, was joking around about MySpace. Mm-hmm. And, and that's where we have to draw the line. So, I've already, this has already went on probably longer than the other ones have. So, I'm going to get the fuck up out of here and we'll talk more next time on the next episode of Interrogation of a Predator. But, uh, yeah, you know, I think we, we spent enough time for this episode, but, yeah, Dustin's a true predator, and uh, can't wait to see what's next, how he's gonna fuck up next, what kind of stupid shit is he gonna say next, what kind of weird ass story is he gonna come up with next, 
Find out next time on Interrogation of a Predator.